It's precious prime time. Hey, what's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Nendoroid Bumblebee movie, Optimus Prime. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. You see in the background here, we have a little Autobot symbol, and we have little Optimus Prime. His name is Optimus Prime on this side of the box. We have Optimus Prime, we have Optimus and Bumblebee. I do have the Bumblebee. We'll take a look at him later. And we have Optimus again. Hi, how are you doing? Optimus again. Optimus. Optimus on the back. More obligatory product shots. Warning, don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the most adorable Optimus Prime I've ever seen in my life. But yes, here is Nendoroid Optimus Prime. Um, I've reviewed some Nendoroids in the past. I'm not like an avid hardcore collector of these, but I saw this guy in Bumblebee. I had to pick them up because they're just so, they're, pre they're precious. They're so, so precious, but yeah. Here's little Optimus Prime. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at that big old noggin of his. Look at that big old noggin. He has some nice metallic blue there for the eyes. Lots of nice silver there as well. And overall, some nice detail going on there with the head sculpt. You can see nice detail there on the mouth plate. You can see the rest of his tiny little body. Autobot symbols, smokestacks there done in silver. You got some silver in there. You got some nice silver throughout the figure. And his little feet. Oh, look at his little feet. And his little tires. Look at his little tires. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just so precious. And his little butt plate. Look at his little booty plate. Look at his little booty plate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not really. But, <laughs> let's see. For as small as he is, there's some nice details going on. It captures all the primey aesthetic that needs to be captured, I think, anyway. But yeah, he's just, he's just a precious, a precious little prime, a precious prime. Now, articulation-wise, uh, you do have some side-to-side -side movement here. As far as up and down, uh, well, let me just rip his head off here so you can give me your face. There we go. Uh, <laughs> You can see you uh, have, this is the typical kind of nendoroid joint, has a little smiley face on it. Oh, But you can see the joint can move from side to side. And depending on how you have this oriented, then you can get your up and down movement. So it all depends on how you have this joint set up. That will determine how the head can move, but you have your rotation, can do a full 360, all that good stuff. The arms can rotate uh, in and out. They can move out at this joint in here in the shoulder. So, oops. You don't want to unpeg stuff. Everything's basically just pegged together on these figures, but outward movement, you're only getting just that little bit there on that hinge. Bicep rotation, yeah, under 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. You do have some wrist rotation. Um, you have upper torso rotation. So that will serve as your, uh, your waist rotation. The legs can move forward only a little bit backwards. Just a little bit. Outward, just a little bit. <laughs> knee joint, you get a little bit. A little bit of knee bend there. And the feet, they can move up, down. You have rotation and you have some tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, um, you do get the typical Nendoroid base here with the adjustable arm. As you can see, there are many ports here, so you can plug this wherever you want. And you do have the post here that will plug right into this port in his back. One thing I do like about this Nendoroid is that he actually has feet, so he can stand on his own. He doesn't need to stand. Uh, most Nendoroids have like the tiniest feet in existence, so they can't stand on their own, so you need to stand. So luckily with this figure, you don't need to stand if you don't want it, but hey, it's there. It's an option, and as always, options are good. So hey, you just plug that in and do what you want there. If you want him to have a little base, you can get them, you know, doing some, uh, some action-y jumping poses or something, you know. You can do what you want there with that little 
adjustable arm. Hey, that's totally up to you as always. It's yours, display it however you wish. Um, you do get some optional hands as well. Uh, you get a pair of the splayed out open no! hands. That's what I always call them. You get a pair of those. You get a pointing hand because of course Prime must be able to do his heroic points. What is a Prime without his heroic points? He has to be able to points. Points! Yes! There! Go there! Because I said so. Go. And he does also have a, uh, a gun holding hand and that is for his gun. Let's see. It's a nice stubbier version <laughs> of his gun here. Just done in black. And you just pop that into the gun holding hand and holds it nice and secure like. And as you can see, the hands swap out very easily. They just work via a peg and you just plug that on. Plug it in, plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. There you go. He's got his gun. He's heroic pointing. He's prime. That's right. Now, size-wise, these are, you know, small figures. Um, from his feet to the top of his ears here, he stands at about five inches tall. So, these are little guys. They're little guys. But just for a, uh, a comparison, uh, here it is with the uh, Studio Series Bumblebee Prime. Just so you can get a sense of scale here. And how these little guys work out. So, there you go. So there you have Nendoroid Optimus Prime, and yeah, this is just adorable. It's just adorable. It's precious. You know, what else can you say, really? I mean, uh, but you know, this style of figure is not for everyone, and that's fine to each their own, but if you do enjoy this style of figure, I think this is something worth looking into. You know, it's just, it's just stinking cute, and you know, it's just a bit of fun. It's just a good bit of fun, so... There you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Nendoroid figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Nendoroid Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Boom in your face! Alright, Prime, let's do this! <laughs> So funny! What? I don't... I don't get it. What? What'd I miss?